Welcome to this new video about uh, key clock. And this is a particular video because I'll start not with key clock, but with how to obtain a valid certificate to develop your application. Um, that's important because I've seen past a lot of people uh, using uh, um, standard HTTP on local machine when they are developing software. And this is not a perfect strategy because sometimes you need to configure your library not to require uh, TLS. So it's a little bit annoying. And obtaining a valid certificate is really, really simple. If you go to at uh, the chatbot AFF.org, uh, the link is below in the video. You have a very, very simple guide where you can follow step by step instruction for installing a sample machine, a virtual machine, which uh, can generate certificate for you. And if you choose um, wildcard certificate, okay, it will require you to validate your DNS if your DNS supports Sharebot. On my suggestion, you can uh, register in Cloudflare a domain or you can use DNS by Cloudflare on your domain because Cloudflare is um, highly supported. And then you just follow the instruction and it's really, really simple. And a certain moment it show you, you need to install a plugin for your DNS provider. And in this case, here is the instruction to install the DNS Cloudflare uh, plugin. So it's Cloudflare is natively supported and it's really, really, really easy to install. Just a few steps and you have a chatbot machine ready to generate a valid certificate for your test domain. Why am I suggesting you to use Cloudflare? Because with Cloudflare, you have a plugin that can use Cloudflare API key to generate certificate even if your chatbot machine is not exposed to the internet. So you just go to your Cloudflare, Cloudflare dashboard, you create a new API token, then one, once you have your API token, you can store into a file, okay, inside your chatbot machine. And once you have this API key stored into the file, it's very, very simple because you can issue a valid certificate for domains you are owner with this simple command, certbot shirt only DNS Cloudflare. You need to specify the file that contains credential and then you ask for the domain. And that's important because the machine does not need to be exposed on the internet because Chatbot can use the Cloudflare API key to contact Cloudflare manipulate the DNS so the chatbot can verify that you are real the owner on that DNS. And that will generate a valid certificate. And then chatbot each 90 days, the certificate will expire and the machine will renew certificate automatically for you. So you'll end having a little small virtual machine that can generate certificate for any subdomain you want to use for your testing purpose, for your developing purpose. And it, this is very, very important. Now let's go to the core of this video. How can I use the generated certificate to create an instance that run locally in my computer using key clock and a valid HTTPS certificate, a valid TLS certificate? Well, first of all, I'm in uh, Windows and I'm in a uh, local directory, C develop certificate keyclock.codrex.com. Now this is the domain that I'm using. So I've recorded this, this is the domain of my blog and I have recorded this on Cloudflare. So if I issue an NS lookup for keyclock.codrex.com, it's strange and I've used the local um, address. So everything is 127, it's class C network, it's localhost. And this is good because I'm not going really to have a public key clock server. So I've used the public uh, DNS to resolve a local address. It's not a problem. And then I can issue a SCP instruction, uh, dash R recursive, my username and the IP address of the machine and SCP is used to copy file through SSH. So I'm listing the folder I need to copy 
with a slash asterisk. So I want to copy all the certificate that the chatbot machine is 10.0.0.9 generates for keyclock.crosswest.com and I want to store in the local directory, hence the dot. So I press enter. I need to enter the pin of my YubiKey. Touch my YubiKey and here we are. With a simple command, I've copied all the certificate on my local Windows machine. Now that I have a valid certificate, I can indeed create a Docker Compose file. And I use Docker Compose because this is the first version with an embedded database. But in real scenario, I will create more than one machine. One is Keyclock and the other is the database. But for now, I'm just using um, a single image with Keyclock using the standard H2DB. So the particular stuff, the, the particularity of this configuration are the volumes. So first of all, ports, clearly I'm using the IP address I've set up for my key clock server in my public DNS, it's 127.1.0.1. And I'm telling that the 8443 port, it's the real port of the container, will be remapped on the 443 port on my machine. So I can access this as HTTPS keyclock.codress.com. And then the volumes, I've mapped the OPT JBoss Keyclock standalone data to one uh, standard local directory. And that's because if I'm gonna destroy the container and then recreate, I can save this uh, data directory that contains the internal database. So internal database will survive a destruction of my container. So if I wanna uh, have a new version of my container, with a um, new version of Keyclock, I can simply destroy the container and recreate and the new container will found the old database in the same location. But the real important things are this other two configuration where I'm telling my container that ATGX509 HTTPS TLS certified and TLS key are indeed mapped to my real certificate and private key that I've downloaded with SCP from my nice certbot machine. So given this configuration, I can now say docker compose and I can choose this file up and detach. This will create a new instance of my, of a docker instance. Here you are, keyclock TLS and it is starting. It will need a little bit to start. The JBoss machine does a lot of initialization. So I will simply stop the video and record again when the container is finished configuring itself. Here you are. Um, Keyclock container started to dump uh, information and that uh, is the, the symptom that the server is started. So if I want to verify that everything is okay, I can go to keyclock.com codrex.com. So this will resolve to one local IP address, 127.1.0.1. But the nice thing is it is HTTPS and it's perfectly valid. So I can go and say the connection is secure. I can look at the certificate and the certificate is issued by Let's Encrypt. So with a very few click, I was able to have a nice virtual machine that can issue how many certificates I want for subdomain of my codrex.com. I can use demo, demo.codrex.com, picturestore.codrex.com. I can use how many subdomain I want to generate perfectly valid certificate I can use during development. So even if I'm developing application locally, I can still use HTTPS with valid certificate, removing the need for self-signed certificate without, uh, without the need to trusting some um, rogue CA certificate authority, local certificate authority to generate valid certificate. And the only drawback of this approach is that the certificate is valid for only 90 days. But as you can see for my key clock, the only command you need to launch is an SCP command that will copy the certificate from my certbot machine to my local Windows machine. And here you are, I have a perfectly valid version of key clock perfectly working and I can use the password for accessing my instance and just to verify that 
I'm able to log in, perfect. And as you can see, I'm in a demo realm and this is because I've already created a previous instance of Keyclock on this machine. I've tested it, I've created a demo uh, realm and then I destroy the container. But since I've mapped the local, the local storage where uh, Keyclock is storing the H2 database, even if I'm using the embedded H2 database, I was able to save this database data into some um, local directory. So if I'm going in that directory, I can verify that indeed this directory contains database for Keyclock. So as final thought, it's a little bit more work than simply starting a container with Keyclock and using in HTTP import 8080. But it's really, really good and it's really, really better if your developers, if you start working with perfectly valid TLS certificate because they are free, they are easy to obtain, and it allows you to work with an environment that is much more similar to a production environment. Everything is in HTTPS and everything is behind a valid certificate. That's all. I hope this video is useful to you and happy Keyclock usage.